presenting these, uh, your, your final MPA proposals to the Blue Ribbon Task Force. So that's where we are. And then one other important thing to remember is that uh, after you produce your uh, round to the raise, which will be done at the end of your May work session and meeting, there will be a suite of public open houses in the early July time frame where those round two draft MPA proposals will be uh, uh, essentially presented and made available to the broader public. They are, uh, the meeting is open to the public and the public is invited to participate as, uh, as observers, but we won't be having a formal comment period. Again, these are not formal meetings, they're, they're not uh, videotaped, audio taped, or webcast the way they typically are in our formal meetings. And we're, we're really trying to create a safe space here. So this is difficult work. And, and to, to find solutions that work for everybody, we, we really want to encourage folks to, to be creative and maybe to, to test ideas that you would not normally test. We want it, this to be a safe space where you can say, here's an idea, you know, I'm not even sure that my constituents would like it. But, but I'm hearing a bunch of things, I'm gonna to try to integrate them. What do you think about this idea? And we want people to feel safe enough to be able to do that and not feel that they're gonna be skewered back home because they, they put out an idea that, that might or might not be helpful in the long run. And it, this is difficult to do. And, and so we do want to, to encourage you to be uh, creative and, and to, you know, to find those solutions that we might not find if you weren't all together in this type of uh, uh, work group setting. So uh, we are asking to help create a safe space that the, the public uh, does not videotape or audio tape or take pictures of these work sessions. Next slide. Okay. Yeah. Uh, will Mr. Drury step out because he is videotaping and we're requesting that not be oh. done. I'd like to talk to him outside. I, Dave, are you audio or videotaping of these work sessions? You're asking me not to videotape this yes. presentation? Yes. I thought this was a public meeting. Yeah, this is actually not a public meeting. It's, it's, if we want to go back to the last slide, I, I'm trying to explain that this is a work session uh, and not a formal public meeting, and we've created a ground rule that says to create this safe space, we're asking members of the public not to audio tape. I believe that's a violation of the Brown Act, sir. Yes, yeah, so, so Dave, um, I, we're, we're, we want to work with the members. Is, of is the this public. a work session right now? Yes. Oh, I thought you were making a presentation uh, of the agenda for the day. I am reviewing some of the guidance and helping to uh, orient the region, members of the regional stakeholder <clears throat> members as they start out their uh, work session. I believe this is a violation of the Brown Act. This is not a violation of the Brown Act. This is not a public meeting. We noticed it accordingly. Dave, you're welcome to be here, but you need to play by our rules or we'll ask you to be taken away. And we'd like you to be here and be part of the process, but you've got to play by the rules. What rules are these? The rules are the MLPA, a safe space where people can have discussion and, and a private meeting. That's how our process is set up. And we'd like you to respect it. Otherwise, I'm going to ask you to be removed from the room. Um, so please, would you put it down? Respect everybody else here. That's what it's all about. Uh, I believe this is a violation of the Brown Act. Uh, sir, if I might say from the public, it makes me feel uncomfortable that he's not being allowed to do it. And because he's not I have to ask myself, why is this, why do people feel unsafe to say what they truly mean? <clears throat> what they truly mean? And why would it be different whether it's being taped or not? Be because there's the opportunity if someone videotapes something that they could take that and then use it against them in some way. And, and we, we can't control what happens with individual videotaping being done here. And, and this is it's not a formal public meeting. And so we, we do want to create, it, it's, a, it's an act of honor and respect for the stakeholder group members who are here to provide that space for them to do what they want. It's, it's, I, I'm hoping this makes some sense to you in that, that it, there have been instances in the past where people will, in a, in, in a not a helpful way, uh, and I think in, in an intended malicious way, videotape and then post stuff somewhere, take things out of context in a way of uh, defaming the individual in some way. And we, we, it's hard to negotiate and be creative when you're worried about how your words may be used against you and appear on the internet. Well, 
well, I've never done any such thing. And uh, I'm a community programmer for the local. Yeah, we're not saying that anyone has, but this is, again, it's creating that atmosphere of safety. That the public has a right to know what's going on with this process. That's right. And, and we're not saying that, and we've made the public, uh, we've made the uh, meetings. Well, not the only is the public muffled, muzzled, we can't even speak in this meeting, but, and so people at, a large portion of this community is completely boycotting this entire process. Uh, we're not allowed to speak in this meeting, and now you're telling us we're not allowed to observe or, or uh, allow other people to see what's going on. Okay. So well, let me be clear: this, the public is invited to participate as observers in the meeting. Have you? Hey, uh, can you hold up one second, please? Well, I just. I just I, so, sir, well, let me just finish again, here. responding to, to the first here. comment, and. And so the public's invited to participate. This is not a public meeting, a formal public meeting where you would be expected to It's announced as a public meeting. The public's invited to attend. That makes it a public as, meeting. As observers, but it's not set up so that the public will be participating as... Uh, so in other words, this meeting is going on in secret? <laughs> it, it, is, it is a private meeting in the sense that uh, it is not a public meeting, but we are inviting members of the public to participate. So who makes that delineation of, of the Brown Act? You? We the, as staff that, have made that delineation, you, and, and this is not a, a, a meeting process that is subject to the Brown Act. So that doesn't apply. David, if I can help you, there's nothing more than the opportunity for safe space here where people can be creative and uh, work with options, all of which get reported out in a public meeting with maps and ideas that come forward in our process. This is the opportunity to, to get to know each other, to come out and have creative ideas, and you're invited to be part of this private meeting, but you're invited to play by our rules.